everyone. I'm Bobby with Lost Souls. In this episode, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be doing a review on my camper. It's a Kong by Tiny Camper Company. I've been getting a lot of questions and comments about my camper, so I thought this would be a good opportunity to do a year review, and uh, I'll do my likes and dislikes, uh, some things that I've added, some things I didn't add that I regret. Okay, I'm going to start at the rear of the car. I'm driving a 2016 Subaru cross trek uh, my towing capacity is 1500 pounds so i wanted to keep my camper under a thousand and i came pretty close to that i installed a echo hitch invisa trailer hitch it's got a two inch receiver and it actually uh, comes out the hidden port in the bumper a little knockout cap uh, it also has a uh, lock and load articulating hitch so it gives you up and down movement, uh, back and forth movement, and that's kind of essential for doing some off-road uh, camping. I'll be doing some camping in the National Forest, and uh, you never know exactly what the road conditions are going to be, so that'll suit my need, and that's one reason why I went with the off-road version uh, from Tiny Camper. This is a Kong. They have a highway edition that's uh, called the Rhino. It's very similar to this in build and structure, uh, but it's not really rated for off-road. This camper does have a 12-volt system. Uh, it has, has a 12-volt uh, outlet and a couple USB ports, charge some electronics, and to run some different electronics with a 12-volt cigarette lighter. Uh, it does have the uh, air conditioner. I believe this is, a, my model is a 2020 version. Uh, I believe in the 21 version and beyond, they're gonna be including this air conditioner. Uh, it works really well. It'll frost this little camper out. Uh, the only thing that I wish I had done different uh, was ask for a bigger box. Uh, maybe one that would have went all the way to the side. And I could have put the uh, marine battery in there and had a little bit of storage on the side. But that's not that big of an issue. Included in the camper, it has uh, these solar power lights. You can have a activation where it will be motion or you can actually have them turned on uh, so they charge during the day obviously and then at night provides enough light to uh, get out of the camper if porter needs to take care of some business so one upgrade that i did at the time of the build was i added a rotopax bracket and this water uh, container and then on the drive home from picking up the camper my car got about half the gas mileage it normally does. So I personally added an extender and then added the fuel can to give me just a little bit of emergency uh, fuel in case I'm out on the four service roads and get low of fuel. Uh, Cause sometimes you never know where you're gonna end up. So that's a, that's a necessity for me. One thing I do regret at the time of the build, I did not request a propane tank bracket to be mounted on the camper. That was something that I thought about after the build. Uh, so I found this bracket that will hold a propane tank. Um, this is from Expedition Essentials. And I actually like it better because it fits right on the fender well. Uh, it has a uh, lock on it. Included in the build is these roof racks. These things are solid and will hold a ton of weight. I love these. If I ever want to add a rooftop tent, it goes right on there. And uh, I actually added a spare tire for my car. I used a bracket that would normally go on the tongue of a camper or a trailer. Uh, but I didn't want to sacrifice any ground clearance, so I've mounted it on the roof. I Next is the galley area. One thing that I kind of regret that I didn't prefer at the time of the build, this is a right handle or left handle and hinges on the right uh, I would have preferred to have that on the other side but as it turns out that way I have access to my kitchen area uh, I'll just end up cooking on this side so it's a pretty simple area uh, I just bought some plastic containers uh, to store all the things I need it came with a uh, sink. I like the sink. Uh, it came with 
a pump faucet and that pump faucet was basically useless I tried every way to make it work you just couldn't get any good flow of water so I purchased a uh, faucet that actually has the switch built in and it runs off a 12 volt charge it's hooked to immersive pump that I've got in these little water containers these are made for camping uh, so I've cut a hole in the top out of my vent and then I have my drain right here so this gives me water to uh, kind of wash up a few dishes wash the hands so I really like this I like I said I just didn't care for that pump so that was one thing that I wanted to replace this area is pretty wide uh, but it's only about 15 inch deep it kind of had some odd little space in the little cubbies which is okay so I actually measured everything out and found some containers these little four gallon uh, water containers fit perfect in there one upgrade that I did add was a full size spare tire they mounted that to a two inch receiver that's welded to the frame it's very solid not going anywhere did upgrade to this roof awning uh, it provides shade and rain uh, protection I'm not sure about it it's pretty lightweight and I've used it several times but it, it's kind of I don't know maybe inexpensively built um, I don't think it would hold up very well in a high wind situation they have something that's really cool for these campers is they call it the bat wing it covers this side the back alley the back galley area and the other side and those are pro supposed to be pretty solid but they do weigh uh, quite a bit so I was kind of trying to hold down my weight and they're about $900 so that would have hit the pocketbook pretty hard okay let's talk about a regret one thing that I wavered on and I just couldn't pull the trigger is this is just standard door that comes with a camper they do have an upgrade where you can uh, have a full-size window and a mesh screen in it it's about five hundred dollars i could not come to grips paying that but i regret that this little window gives you a little bit of air but it does not provide any airflow at night for sleeping uh, personally i'd rather have just a cool breeze versus a fan or the air conditioner so that is one regret i okay, let's take a look inside now this camper is in the teardrop camper family inside is basically a queen size bed uh, it does come with a tri-fold uh, bed slash couch personally i never use the couch if i'm camping i want to be outdoors I'm not, uh, it does have a little cubby system up here for storage I uh, keep my little personal uh, care kit here. Uh, it's normally where our, right now I've got a heater in there because this weekend it's been cold. Uh, in the summertime, I keep just some fans in there. Uh, it has these little fishnet pockets on the side. It has uh, enough space. I usually keep Porter's leash, my headlamp here. So if we need to get up during the night, it's right there. It does not have any electric interior lights, but it does have this little LED uh, strip. It's battery operated. It provides sufficient light in here. It, you know, you're not going to read a novel with it, but it does provide some light to get ready for bed. Uh, I'm used to tent camping, backpacking, so I'm used to using my headlamp for everything at night, so that's not a big issue for me. Uh, it does have these vents. There's one on this side and one over here. Uh, inside of this camper, and I think all small campers, obviously they didn't have any type of uh, major ventilation or air conditioning system, maybe. Uh, it, condensation is a real issue. And uh, I bought a computer fan, and it hooks up to a uh, the 12-volt system. And it's supposed to be pulling air... From this vent to that little fan and pushing it out I'm not sure if it works that well but I usually run it just just try to see one thing that was included in the build were these Jeep fenders they're very sturdy they'll hold my body weight no problem uh, but I did upgrade these side steps they're welded into the frame and into the fender so when I get 
stuff I want to store on the roof, I can use it as a step, step on the fender, and then reach anything on the roof that I need. Probably one of my favorite things about this camper is how easy it is to set up. I have a two foot level. I'll put it on the wheel wells, and then I'll put it on the air conditioner box, and I'll see which way I need to level this thing up. I've got several two by six boards cut, and uh, obviously I use the front trailer jack to level up so we have a nice level of sleeping uh, quarters you've heard my likes my dislikes things i'm glad i upgraded to things i regret that i didn't overall it was a great purchase i love my camper I'm trying to think so i would definitely buy this camper again i've enjoyed it i'll take it out for one night multiple nights uh, but you do have to like the minimalist lifestyle okay so that's my review of the kong by tiny camper company you've